All right, everybody, that's it for our series on a strong, stable neck position during your row. Uh, just to recap, what we're looking for is a nice cervical lordosis. I like to look my eyes up until I get a nice, you know, relaxed neck curve. And then I bring my head back down. And then I check to make sure that I'm in the right position by just turning my head side to side. As long as I don't feel too restricted, then I'm feeling pretty good about it. What I am trying not to do is I'm not letting my head push way forward when I do my row. I need to oppose gravity. I need a nice long neck while I do that. And we talked about a bunch of different ways to do that. So one of the things you can do is um, try to bring your face away from your hand in front of you or away from my hand, which smells in front of you. Um, and that just shifts the neck backward. If the neck is falling forward, it shifts the neck backward. You can think about bringing your head back, but oftentimes people tilt it back and that's not what I'm looking for. Um, you can think about bringing your face back, but again, oftentimes people tilt and that's not what I'm looking for. What I want is for the neck to come back because that's more of a direct relationship between the shoulders and the rowing exercise. So we talked about that cue. Once you get the neck position, I've also got to stay really strong on the arm that is supporting me. And if I'm having these issues, then yes, I should be using the other arm to support me because I haven't proven that I have the stability to support the rest of my body without that arm, right? Take the weight down, support, give yourself more support during the exercise, make it a little bit easier on you, but challenge your technique a lot, okay? Be very particular about how you're doing it. Make sure you're not losing it during your reps. If you lose it a little bit, that's okay. That's just an opportunity to find it again. But if you're not thinking about it, you're not running this experiment, you're not trying to fix it, then you're, you're kind of just spitting your wheels. You're, you're hitting your plateau way too soon. Now, we talked about those cues, and those cues are helpful for most people, but you may need to take a, a wider look at this. Maybe it's not just a neck problem, maybe it's a lower half problem. And so what I like to start people with is the rock back breathing with abs. So you're on your hands and knees, you rock your butt back to your heels, and you round your belly up towards the ceiling. And doing that helps me turn my abs on, which then allows my back to relax and helps me restore a nice round upper back. It gives me a nice cervical lordosis depending on how I'm doing it. After that or maybe during that while I'm training that exercise, that rock back exercise, I also like trying to put yourself in a little ball and rocking back and forth. Remember we wanted to be like a circle. We didn't want to rock like a square with a thud and a thud and a thud. Um, progress those, try to get your hands as far across, try to grab the opposite foot while you're doing that, and that will force you into the correct positions. Um, after we did that, what do I have here? The Turkish getup, yes, we started to shift it asymmetrical. That way we have an arm to stabilize us and the other arm tries to get away. Both arms, though, need to bring the shoulders down away from the neck so the neck is nice and long. And again, we said you don't have to do the whole Turkish getup. You might just need part of it. Even that first step is really good for teaching your neck how to relax. And you can, you can even, you know, I didn't mention this during the video, but you can turn your head, like we said earlier, just to check to make sure your neck is in a nice relaxed spot. If it's not there, try to tilt it around and find a nice relaxed spot. Uh, yes, yeah, so you don't have to do the whole Turkish get up. Next one though is the RDL. Now I'm starting to bend over. I'm starting to get my head in that position of the row where it has to oppose gravity. It can't just fall forward away from gravity. And if I'm having trouble with that, um, I have a ton of videos about the RDL. You should probably watch those if you, if you can't just knock that one out. Um, the whole idea is I need to drive with my legs. I need to secure my lower half so that my upper half can be mobile, so that my upper neck doesn't have to turn on so much. Um, so if you're not feeling the RDL in the glutes and the hamstrings, then you know, play back, try some of those other exercises, try some cues, find out how to get your abdominals to turn on to secure your midsection while you do the Romanian deadlift or a stiff-legged deadlift. 
And then the last one, the ultimate challenge before you step in and try the row again is the push up because everybody who messes up the push up that way messes up the row that way. Um, big ideas are I want to stay supported on my arms while I bring myself down. And as I come down, I'm not trying to maximize the depth of my motion. I'm not trying to get my head as close to the ground as possible. I'm just trying to lower myself under control. And it may behoove you to limit the range of motion that you're trying to access here in exchange for getting more stability, not just in the head and the neck, but also in the rest of the trunk as well. That's it for our series on getting a nice, strong, stable neck. Try not to have that floppy neck flopping around because it's, you know, it doesn't help the nerve conduction that comes out of your neck. It doesn't help the joint position. It doesn't help put the forces where you need to put them. It doesn't put them into the muscle. It puts them just into the joints. And that's not a longevity. I, I don't think that's a word. That's not the right way to do this over the long term. It's not going to support long term training. You're just going to hit your plateau way too soon. Thank you. If you like this series, please thumbs up every single one of my videos. It'll only take you a weekend or so and leave comments. I like having these discussions. I've had more people leaving comments and we've been discussing stuff. I guess once you hit that year mark, uh, people start taking you seriously, uh, even though I don't take myself seriously. Thank you for watching.